Moore finds Murray, who finds Jufre out the back. Short ball to G. G makes some good yards after contact. Slow play the ball though. Moore finds Murray. Thought about the pass, but takes himself. 35 metres from the Swinton line. Moore finds Wood, Wood runs at the line, finds Wood burn all. Thought about the pass, but he thought Tibbs may have overrun that. Last tackle here for Fax, 25 metres out from Swinton's line. It goes to Dufrey, and Dufrey will go back to that corner. It's charged down by the Swinton defence. It goes to Calcoy, it's back to one for the Panthers. Great attacking opportunity for the men in purple. Moore goes blind and finds Wood, long ball out to Ben Tibbs, and Ben Tibbs scores! Ben Tibbs scores his first try of the season. He's off the nudie run and he's back in the try scoring form. To the delight of those fans both in this stand and over on that far side. All coming from the charge down. Kick from Jufre. Pounced on by Will Calcott. They saw the numbers blind and Kyle Wood. Pass it to Woodburn, all delayed the pass for Ben Tibbs to go over for his first try of the season. Here's Gregson once more. Out of the back to Abram. Abram hands it on to Kenny Baker. Kenny Baker eventually put down by Moore and Woodburn all. Swinton, the Lions playing with the tails up here. There's gaps in this defence, but the door closes from Kavanagh. Still tackles here for Swinton. Five metres from the line. Duncan goes himself, Josh Eves well dealt with by Cameron Leroy, last tackle here for Swinton. Gregson fires it back out and it's Benyon who has it. The prop forward on the last, dinks it to the corner. The ball spilled. What's it going to be? I think it is going to be a goal line dropout for Halifax. That's a great result for Swinton. An orthodox last tackle play with Gavin Benyon kicking the ball. Gregson finds Baxter. Baxter makes some yards into the Halifax 30, put down by Calcott and Murray. Options left and right for Swinton, they go left, but they go back on the angle with Brogan. On to Gregson, Gregson, great step there. Back inside. Two hooker in Josh Eves and Swinton have struck back. Well, even Dan Abram, this simple conversion attempt. Richie kicks. So after 20 minutes here, that Haywood Road, it's Swinton 6, Halifax 4, still tackles here for Halifax as Wood jumps in at dummy half, finds Jufre, short ball to Matty G, but well read there by Abram, last tackle here for Fax, looking for an instant reply, Moore finds Jufre on the blind side, on to McComb, McComb, covers it through, was that a knock on by Swinton in today, it is. Six more tackles here for Halifax on this Swinton line. Here's Tangata. Runs across field but goes back in the centre. Looking to break the tackle but the Swinton defence wise to it. Moore goes left. It's a six again for Halifax. The queuing up on that far side. Off onto Wormsley. And Halifax didn't need the six again. Because Lachlan Wormsley scores his 21st try of the season. The kick from McComb just to have hit the Swinton man and back into his possession giving Fax back to zero tackle a couple of tackles later the referee gave a six again but it wasn't needed because Louis Jufre a lovely lofted pass out to that corner there was an overlap there but Jufre went route one and Lachlan Wormsley strolled in the corner Wood spins it out to Lannan, who goes himself at the line, trying to poke his nose through. Still going, still with three Swinton defenders in attendance. 15 out from the line. O'Brien finds Jufre. Out the back to Woodburn All. Woodburn All goes himself. Comes back on the inside. Well read for that Swinton defence. Last tackle here for Fax as Jufre goes it through, tries to find the post. It picks the post. And safety first from Andrew Badrock who boots the ball dead, nearly taken out spectators in the process. But it's a repeat set for Fax. O'Brien goes left, finds Kyle Wood. Short ball to Kavanagh, hands off the defender, still going Ben Kavanagh. Out to Wormsley, 
Pass was behind him, so he comes inside as Walmsley, looking for a gap inside. Last tackle here for Fax. O'Brien oh, finds Wood. Wood grubbers it through, looking for the chaser of Leroy, but once more, Swinton just boot the ball dead. This time, it was Lewis Baxter. As Ifax building pressure nicely. Dufray drops Leroy off. 15 metres out from the Swinton line. Slow play of the ball, O'Brien finds Wood. Dummies finds Dufray, three on two on this left-hand side, as Walsley's in the corner again from the pass of Woodburn Hall, but the referee has given a forward pass here. Here's Gregson, brings on Spedding, on the inside, who knocks on, but the penalty's going to be given here, for foul play. Oh no, he's given offside, referee, well... With time running out in this first half, I think Swinton may well go for two here to level up this game. He strikes it, is it long enough? It is, and it's over, the flags are up. Wood brings on Lannan. He's met by three Swinton defenders inside the 40. Still tackles here for Fax, O'Brien finds Wood, out the back to Jufre. The fans will burn all, long ball out to Saltonstall. Saltonstall kicks to centre field, looking for the chasers. They're still there, the bounce is kind, he goes over, Wood, goes to Tangata, can he get it down, Adam Tangata? No, he can't. And that is the last tackle of the half. As the hooter goes, as you may well have just heard. Here's Calcott once more into the Swinton half. Good yards this from the Panthers. Swinton slowly play the ball down. Here's Wood, out of the back to Woodburn, oh, short ball to Tibbs, goes through the gap. Still going Ben Tibbs, but he's eventually put down, 25 metres from the line. Last tackle here for Fax, it goes to Kyle Wood, and Kyle Wood will put it high, looking for the chase of Lachlan Wormsley. But he's dropped in, Adam Tang gets his way, and Adam Tangata scores his first try of the season. Ben Tibbs off the mark in the first half, and Adam Tangata in the second, and it's a perfect start to the second half for the men in purple. Bad mistake at the back by Badrock from the kick from Kyle Wood, looking for the chase of Wormsley, but just spilled it under no real pressure. And Adam Tangata, Johnny on the spot to score his first try of the season. Dufray strikes it well, straight through the post, the flags are up. And after a minute of this second half, perfect start for the Panthers. Brings the score up to Swinton Lions 8, Halifax Panthers 14. As Tangata gets his shot for no great footwork from Tangata, who's away. He's got no one in support. He's just going to pin his ear back and go, Tangata, but he's put down. This is the Tangata of old we're seeing today, ladies and gentlemen. What a run from the Cook Islander. Wood finds Jufre, steps inside and goes himself. He's stopped by Baker. And Ifax in the blink of an eye find themselves 10 metres out from the Swinton line. O'Brien goes from Dummy R, finds Wood. Big pressure there from Gregson, but Wood rides, rides it well. Last tackle here for Fax. Five metres out from the line. O'Brien shapes right, right and goes left. Dufre to Woodburn, all on to Wormsley. And Wormsley scores his second of the game. And his 22nd of the season. All twos for the number two. For Lacan Wormsley. All coming from that brilliant midfield break from Adam Tangata. Halifax worked the ball left and right. And on the last, they went for the power play. Dufre and Woodburn all brought left late. The overlap created, and Al Lachlan Wormsley strolled in, in the corner. O'Brien finds Wood, brings Fleming back on the inside. Last tackle for Fax. 
40 metres out from the Swinton line. Dufre will put it high and deep. It's McComb leading the chase. Well taken there by Jaden Hatton. Good tackle there by McComb as well. I think he's twisted awkwardly in that tackle there as a Swinton man. Again, nothing, no malice in that challenge for McComb. It's just a an awkward twist. And Zach McComb's been sinbin there. I'm not too sure. Didn't look anything in that at all from Zach McComb. But the referee thinks differently. And for the next 10 minutes, Halifax are down to 12. Here's Rory in the Bruins. Here's Brogan. Finds Gregson. Out of the back. On to Spedding. Spedding's got space here. Spedding's away, but he drops the ball. And Spedding's going to bend black. The line begging there for Jake Spedding. And the spirit of Ben Black has gone into Jake Spedding there. Just drops the ball with no one there. And that's crucial, absolutely crucial mistake. Less than five out, Roby fires out to Abram, finds Badrock out the back. One pass out, he goes to Jufre. Jufre's away. Jufre in the interception, but he slips on the turf. And Halifax survive once more. Murray from dummy half. Might just keep all the ball from the attention. Of Brogan. Would burn all from the shot ball from Saltonstall. As Ifax wait the way upfield. Here's Kyle Wood. Screams of offside, not given. As Wormsley away from the pass of Tibbs. Lachlan Wormsley away from his hat trick. And Lachlan Wormsley gets his hat trick. That could be a really, really important score for the Panthers. Brilliant offload from Ben Tibbs. Who's had a wow of a game for the Panthers? But Lachlan Wormsley, give him any sort of space on the outside, and he'll make him pay. And that pushes the lead out to 22 points to eight with the kick to come. Fantastic hands from the Panthers there. You just felt the momentum was changing. And Ben Tibbs, brilliant centre play, releasing his winger. which are duly obliged in converting. We're well, around 20 minutes to go here in the second half. What could be a really crucial crucial score for his hat-trick from Wormsley. He swing at Lions 8, Halifax Panthers 24. Such a white-hot climate here as McComb comes on back onto the pitch. To get Halifax the full complement of players as Murray charges it in. Brilliant run there from the prop forward. Quick play of the ball too as O'Brien goes blind. Kyle Wood steps inside and Wood's away. Kyle Wood, he's got Kavanagh in support. Kavanagh's away in the centre field. And Ben Kavanagh back in the side to score. His third try of the season as Halifax go back to back. And that could be the match winning action there from Halifax. Scoring just by the posts to give us Halifax a 28-8 lead. Back to back tries there from Halifax. Kyle Wood, brilliant step off his left foot inside. Showing the pace of old. And Ben Kavanagh, brilliant support player, and he raced away to score. Strikes it high through the post. The flags are up. And from that, it's a designated water break on the hour mark. But more importantly than that, Halifax go 30 points to eight up. As Swinton make the way into Halifax's 20. Here's Benyon. Abram ducked out of that challenge there, and he's picked out by Badrock. Momentum lost a little bit for the Lions there. Here's Benyon, he holds on this time. Takes a tackle. 
of O'Brien and Calcott. Just over 10 out here, Swinton. Here's Abram. Finds Baxter. Baxter finds Gregson out the back. Will out the back again. And well, Lachlan Wormsley away. He picks up the ball. Inception and no one's stopping him. And Lachlan Wormsley has scored four. He goes over for four for his fourth try of the afternoon. And Lachlan Wormsley just cannot stop scoring. Loose passes just picked off here, and Ifax are showing the clinical side in this second half. As Lachlan Wormsley scores his 24th try of the season. The almost there for Swinton on the left hand side. Loose pass, bounced on the floor, and they got away with it. Coming right, they didn't get away with it, and Lachlan Wormsley, artful dodger in chief. Picked up the ball and there's no one catching him, especially on a dry track like today. And for the first time in a long time, Halifax have come out in the second half and meant business. Jufre kicks the goal, the flags are up. And with around about a quarter of an hour to go here, it's Swinton Lions 8, Halifax 36. I'm sure the message from Simon Grix is to keep this momentum going, try and put a score on. And Tibbs will tap the ball just for halfway. Well, that's been told to move forward onto the halfway. Here's Calcott, finds Jufre. Jufre dummies and goes through the gap. Jufre's away. Brilliant play from Jufre. He's got Woodburn on support. Woodburn all goes over for the try. His eighth try of the season. Woodburn all. And Halifax are cutting loose in this second half. I said before, if I showing the clinical side, and that is just clinic, clinical personified. Louis Jufle playing with his head up, shot through the gap, and Woodburn all, like all good footbacks do, just read the situation and just charged onto that ball. To score his eighth try of the season. He finds Kyle Wood. Wood finds Leroy short, bumps off the tackle of Josh Eaves. And Halifax get a six again, but it's on the first tackle, so not much impact as Tangata takes the ball up. Tackles in the bag here for Halifax. Brandon Moore goes low from dummy half. And for the second consecutive week, Captain Brandon Moore scoots over from dummy half, but this time there wasn't a man on him. Saw that Swinton had messed up the defensive line. And it's another captain's knock from Brandon Moore. As less than 10 minutes to go, it stretches Halifax's lead out. And it gives Louis Dufre a simple conversion attempt, which he duly obliges to take. And with less than 10 minutes to go, Brilliant resulting kick there from Halifax. A spedding goes blind. It was his Ben Black moment, which has completely shifted his momentum of the game. As Fleming gets the high tackle. Don't think they were. It was a high tackle, but it was going down, was Hatton. It was a high tackle, but surely nothing more. It is going to his pocket, the referee, and that's, that's just wrong, Matt. That's just wrong in my opinion. As Bennion runs forward, onto Brogan, stepping inside Brogan. As the hooter goes, Brogan loses possession of the ball. Josh Eves kicks it through and Swinton are going to have a try. No, they're not. The bounce eludes him. They nearly got a last second try for a consolation. But it wasn't to be. And it's Halifax Panthers, who after a clinical second half performance, eight points apiece at half time, scored 38 unanswered points in the second half. Lachlan Wormsley headlining with four tries, but Adam Tangata, Ben Kavanagh, 
James Woodburn all and Brandon Moore grabbing second half tries, keeping the Lions scoreless in that second half to register a really, really important win here in South Manchester. The final score here, Swinton Lions 8, Halifax Panthers 46.